Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, oh, it was a, a day, <laughs> an interesting day. Um, really no sadder or happier than any other day. Just um, uh, the way things are right now in this world. So anyway, um, Angel, I mispronounced your name as Angela, or unless that's your name, but, um, yeah, my kid's stepmom is a knight, and my cousin Sharon is a knight from, uh, well, she's out in Wyoming right now, so, coincidences. Um, or is it? <laughs> so I went over and I looked at that guy. First, your comments were disabled. So I thought, well, this is totally wasting my time because that leaves me no alternative as to speak on it here if I had anything to say, which is, well, I guess that's for the better anyway. So everybody can know my opinion. It's what my channel's about. So then, so I got over there. I mean, I watched the video that was on your channel and didn't know the guy's name there was no date of when it was posted i thought well this is really odd and then just the other day this is kind of um like lionel says there used to be a guy when i was a little kid on ed sullivan show and he had sticks and he put them on his knees and shoulders and hands and he'd spin these plates and bowls and he'd have all these plates spinning at one time and so um, I got a lot of plates spinning here, so I'm going to be going back and forth on a couple things because this is the only way I can articulate that. I asked God, okay, now how am I going to say this? He said, uh, you do the talking and I'll help you. And I'm like, okay, sounds like a plan. So, okay, so I get over there. And just the other day I had been talking about people that they'll cock the brim of their hat or they'll purposely take a cap and put it so one side is just like like they're peeking out of their eye when they're talking to you. Or sunglasses or um, um, the brim of glasses and they put them right there in the middle of their eyes or down on their nose and they look down like that. I detest that shit. I can't see people's eyes, you know. Ugh. Drives me batty. So, okay, well, I thought, that's okay. I'll still listen to this guy, see what he's got to say. Um, first off, all the information about SJD is very old news to me. I wrote in the book of Gematria in 1972. And when uh, I found out about SJD quite some time ago, I recognized his name as the imposter he is. And it's all bullshit anyway all these number people and I knew I knew they'd start turning on each other like a bunch of snakes okay so okay so I'm listening to this guy I'm giving him a chance things just seem to get be getting worse and worse and I was gonna hold part of it back but but I'll but I'll let all this out I thought geez he looks like a guy who was a uh, pedophile with my son that uh, literally uh, harmed my child so I thought, oh, well, okay, so he wears his glasses crooked, he's got a crooked head, and, um, okay, whatever, and, um, he looks like this dude, but, okay, I'm gonna put them couple things aside, and I'm still listening, so, and I knew all this stuff about SJD. Obviously, um, People know what's going on. Okay, so anyway, um, getting back to the point, he was calling SJD honey. And I thought, did I hear that right? I thought, well, he's got long hair, but nah, nah. Well, then he brought up the, and then he called him honey again. And I thought, okay, inappropriate. This Christian today really didn't want to hear that when I was just crying out to God in front of my uh, fellow humans saying, 
the destruction of our families is, um, that's a path to that. So, okay. But then he brought up cornucopia, a cornucopia. And I know from the Eastern Star that cornucopia they bring to the table with the fruits of life in it, indicating God's children to be cannibalized. That's our offering to the world. That's our offering to the Illuminati. So, okay, so he said that, and I thought, well, now this is getting where it's not really a coincidence anymore. And I listened to him talk, and, whoa, it was all about the numbers. This dude does simple gematria, like I do in my head with numbers, but I don't apply them to letters. See, that's the other aspect where he's using people. So here you are, you're sending me to this page of a person i won't call him a jerk but i will call him somebody undesirable for me and everybody else i know so it makes me wonder about you who are you and what are you listening to this person for what a bunch of hokey crap for real you know i i'm dead serious about this so we go from talking about one number guy to another number guy's page who's sitting there saying, or channel, who's sitting there saying, uh, and I can tell you this and that and all the wisdom he has and um, I'll give you these numbers and blah, 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 you know, preaching about Christ. Well, good on him for that, I guess, not mixed with the cornucopia of crap that I heard while he sits there and smokes a joint. Well, I smoke too, a couple hits at a time. I control myself, you know? So, okay, well, that's okay too. I mean, whatever, whatever. Yes, I know, I do know. So, um, yeah, that was very interesting. It really didn't help, uh, anybody's cause it was a waste of my time quite frankly the only thing it did was help me experience another one of satan's little kids doing their dirty little deeds so but i don't know his name maybe you want to give me that well god knows it anyway you know like you recognize the spirit that type of thing Trust me, when people want you and your loved ones dead, you do recognize them from old times. There's no hiding from that. <laughs> so there would be facing it, owning up to it, and stopping it. But hiding? Nah. No hiding. <laughs> so, yeah, really interesting. Honey. Whoa. Okay there, butch. <laughs> wow. Amazing. We live in a fascinating world. Very faceted. A bit too faceted for my um liking. <laughs> so There was something else the dude did do that freaking irritated me. Oh, he was having chili con cases. And then later, what did he say he was going to have? Um, I'll think on that one, which was just kind of tad bit interesting to me. The indications and implications of it. Um... Hmm, what was that? Maybe it was just the cornucopia thing I was thinking. Well, that, that really did irk me. That's one word I've been waiting for. Yep, yep, sure have. <laughs> but, 
disgusted me when I first read about that when I was a kid. Disgusting. You know why I would never eat another human being? Because you're freaking filthy. I'm making sure I polluted my body so bad if anybody ever took a bite out of me, they'd freaking gag from the side effects. In fact, with Christ's blood in there, you gag from the side effects anyway. As a matter of fact, with Christ in my heart, I think you're gagging from the side effects. And you should choke on it. So, anyway, Angel, I do not know who you are. Um... I don't know if you want to talk about this, but one thing I'm going to tell you right here and now, and this is to everybody, you don't d debate nothing spiritually with me. Nothing. No thing. You can talk to me. Well and fine. Get it? Well and fine. You know? You can um, say hello and express a statement about a video I make, but anything that's converse. Um, I'll just put it this way. I've been accused of wanting things my life. It's either your way or the highway. Yep, that's a fact. It sure is. That's the way it is over here. You know, and I don't debate Christ's laws and our commandments and seven deadly sins. I don't debate life with anybody. God chose me, and I tell you, I don't debate. I don't do debates. I either tell you what's going on if you're not listening and you continue to talk in an adverse manner in any extreme. I don't care if it's a symbol or a hint or something that you're going to pretend you don't know. There's no pretense and scams. No shams, no more. I ain't buying it. That's another thing, too. Um, do these people really know what they're doing? Yeah, you damn right you do. So do I. Every second. See, it was, uh, well, I couldn't tell you how long ago um, God gave me visions to prepare for everything that comes into my life and everyone. You think you're sneaking up on me, but it's like they're going to say this or do that. And I'm like, who, where, when? And he's like, well, this is what's going to happen. And then pretty soon it's like, well, today's the day. Surprise. And I'm like, the day for what? And I get on there, oh, okay, that one. Yeah, all right. I remember that one. Let's deal with this crap. You know? So that's how I feel about you um, asking me to go look at SJD's com competition. <laughs> oh! Holy moly, Rocky. That kind of, in a way, made my day. How freaking ignorant. Huh? Unbelievable. <laughs> Shit, you people are um, something else. <laughs> oh, no. Can't believe it. Can hardly believe it. When God says something's going to happen, it happens. I mean, it's not killing me. It's killing you guys. <laughs> You're going to have to lay in your grave for a thousand years. You're sitting beside your daddy, all right. <laughs> oh, oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they'll let them loose. <laughs> Take a nap. No, you'll be a good little Satan. <laughs> oh, shit. See, um, God's kids are way worse than Satan because um, 
They just die. They aren't going to kill anybody, but they're just way worse. And their imaginations are like way, 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 and their willpower is ahead of time. So that is all very funny to me. In a way, it was a delightful day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, shite. <laughs> oh, it was funny. Lionel Nation. Um, hi, Lionel, if you pop in. Uh, he was saying happy Hanukkah to somebody. And somebody asked him if it, him and his wife were Jewish. And he's like, why do people ask me that? You know, it's like if I tell, I have a, a um, daughter-in-law that's Jewish. And it'd be like, if I tell her happy Hanukkah, does that make me Jewish? <laughs> or if she tells me Merry Christmas, you know. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I find that humorous. He's like, uh, says things like shysta. <laughs> That's just funny. That's where I got hinky from. Let's see now. Um, if I remember the definition of hinky is somebody that um, practices to deceive. <laughs> That's hinky. <laughs> I live by a town called Hinkley, and there's a casino there. <laughs> I was a dealer up there. <laughs> That's kind of funny, come to think of it. Now, tell me God doesn't have a sense of humor. That's very funny. I wonder if he's going to let Satan wear his Satan suit when he puts him to sleep. <laughs> hey, you warlocks, you, can, you want your cloaks and your blankies with your teddy bear when you get put down? <laughs> <laughs> can I help? Oh, yeah, God said you sure can. <laughs> he says he can hand out the teddy bears. <laughs> yep, and there's a big symbolization with that teddy bear, isn't there? Yeah. Way to give kids good nightmares, isn't it? way to get them through their little stuffed animals in their minds. Yeah, get them to name them too. That's a good thing. I cremated mine. I literally put a picture of mine that I hated. I was actually crying. Well, it was a picture of abuse and I put a rubber binder around uh well, put my teddy bear in a bag with his blanket because I had a little dolly thing and a cradle and that I kept all my dolls and stuff in and um, put them in a paper bag and put rubber binder in my picture in there and threw them in the burner. <laughs> its name was Fred, but when it got so many holes, I made a dress for it purple kind of flowered dress, really pretty long dress after so many holes were sewed up. So then I had to call it Frederica. So I guess that was the first transgender teddy bear. Oh, no, this is really getting funny. <laughs> so I put my icky picture on it and I burn them. <laughs> oh, God, that's really deep. <laughs> Holy smokes which reminds me I could use a cigarette wow life is odd <laughs> really is <laughs> tell me God's not cracking up right now you know he was probably cracking up when I did it no I was getting to be a young woman I figured it's time I don't need um toys anymore <laughs> you know <laughs> that type of, in fact I never really liked dolls I would take my brother's Tonka trucks put my dolls in it and push them down the hill that's the way I played with my dolls or I like pop their heads off like my Ken doll I you literally ripped his limbs and everything off his head everything and shoved him in the trunk of the Barbie car so. 
think I have some <clears throat> psychological problems. <laughs> but it all started because he did. <laughs> oh, I did give them away. I put them back together and I give all my Barbies to a little girl. <laughs> but I had a case with um, two or three Barbies and a skipper in it. And um, she bought them for a quarter at a grad sale of mine. And um, then I had a whole bunch of, she was just thrilled. So I just gave her a whole bunch of Barbie stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And uh, I don't take it lightly that uh, Barbie came out. Uh, the actual name of the woman's daughter is Susan, which is my middle name. So she comes out with this doll, names it Barbie. And um, all these little girls and boys are like uh, throwing Barbies in the mud and all this. Same coloring as me when it first came out in 1959. I was born in 58. So I always thought that was kind of like a setup. Talk about voodoo. I know. I'm not stupid. But that's okay. People can pretend that I am. And maybe if they pretend enough, that does definitely give me the upper hand. <laughs> you know? That's the thing about Christ kids. We do have the upper hand because, like, uh, somebody I care about, well, I love him. He uh, said, uh, we have the right time. We have the right time now. So that's what gives us and they know we do <laughs> see they can feel it through their fodder and um they can sense it just like we sense our father <laughs> and um so they they sense this impending doom you know that we aren't feeling you know we feel like laffy taffy <laughs> and emotional <laughs> They got two modes. They got um, uh, lust and anger. <laughs> well, they got the seven deadly sins and all the Ten Commandments pretty well butchered, too. So, yeah. Hey, Bruce, I don't know if you're watching. If you are, that word dear to me... Um, the way it's actually used is not a good thing. You might want to rewrite that. <laughs> you know, I, uh, the implications. Like I told somebody one time, it brings back my memories of when I used to slaughter animals, like on antelope. And deer and a moose and um well not a moose it was a um, elk and cattle whatever everything um yeah because that's exactly what it means nowadays so if you really are dear to me <laughs> go rewrite what you wrote me <laughs> I'd appreciate that Otherwise, yeah, I showed your true colors shining through. That's why I love you. Good night, my friend. Want a teddy bear? <laughs> or not? I'll see if you um say anything about that to me. So I'll wait a little bit. I'll give you a little bit of time to think on that. I'll give you all a little bit of time to think. A little bit. So you might want to watch what you're putting in your system if you want to think. So, got a little bit of time. Trying to stay. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, the things I see for the future is actually very funny. Um. Yeah, I was really sad for a while thinking that everybody was going to die too. But I, when I saw the visions, oh, oh my goodness, everything, everything. <laughs> oh, 
everything got way funny after that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> um, unlike some people, I'll tell you the truth, but I will push fear. <laughs> you should be scared because you're going to be scared. And I'm going to be laughing my butt off. Because not only do I deserve to laugh, but it's physically freaking funny. <laughs> Imagine this. People that literally had hands and mouths on destroying Christ's children are going to be running for their license screaming in fear. Oh, yeah, that's funny. See, the reality of it for them, um, the way they feel about material things and their material body and everything, the reality of it for them is scary. <laughs> and that is funny. So you got to admit that is funny when you think about it. So don't be sad for this. These people, they're going to be just fine. <laughs> Yes, they will. <laughs> ah! Imagine that. Oh, oh. That reminds me of uh, Don McLean's song. Um, oh, oh. The day the music died. When he goes helter skelter in a summer swelter, the birds fell up, flew up to fall out, shake shelter, eight miles high and falling fast and they um uh oh wait oh about the jester on the sideline in a cast and um the halftime air was sweet perfume while sergeants played a marching tune we got all got up to dance but we never got a chance um oh there is a part in that song let me think what it was oh i think just the helter skelter part Reminds me of um, people running all over the place because <laughs> they're scared to freaking death. You know, when God's calling your heart and you're not listening. <laughs> I've been there. You should be scared. You have no idea. <laughs> Shit. All Satan can do is say boo. You know, God can do a lot more than that. Funny, and people believe in Satan, but they don't believe in God. <laughs> they think Satan made himself. And he can't explain how. We'll be talking about science coming in this deep winter time here. You're going to learn, get, get an education on your blood. What, not what the traditional scientists tell you. Some actual allegories of the whole situation. And that's that's um, a very deep subject. It is. So, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed <laughs> the thought of Helter Skelter in its true meaning. <laughs> I'll have to sing. Um, I'll have to sing the day the music died for everybody because I was a paper boy delivering sad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. I can't remember if I cried when I read about the widow bride, but something touched me deep inside the day the music died. And they were singing, oh, bye-bye American Pie. <laughs> That's what it's called. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll be back, everybody. Uh, like I said, I'm not taking any guff over here, so you go take it somewhere else. And hi to everybody. I love you. I had to say what's on my mind. And um, I not only have people's back. I got your. I got you up there, over there, over there, back there, over there, and down, up, down, all around. So, yeah. And when somebody says they got my back, I'm thinking, yeah, okay, well, let go of it, you know, <laughs> get that knife off my back. <laughs> but I do trust some people when they say that. But, <laughs> you know, um, it is serious when people are out there literally putting other people's lives in jeopardy without 
a thought. Um, saying things that aren't true about people or undeserving that people don't deserve it to be said about them, that type of thing. Yeah, that's not cool. Um, and if you're on that side, I don't care if you just open the door for what they call a worthy matron. I don't care if you, you go over and scrub her house. You help one of them or whoever, the men, a warlock, a satanist, a witch, play your games, whatever, whatever. No flack here. Take it elsewhere. You help any of that. I don't care what you're doing for them. You're not on my side. That's the way I feel about you. So I don't care. I don't care if it's as menial as bringing in a cup of coffee. You're giving them part of God's substance. You're helping my opposition. So I don't care. Don't care. There's nothing I do around here that isn't a bargain. And I always have the upper hand on that bargain. That's wearing a dress. That's with the grace of God. Not wearing the pants of the family. Because there ain't no family. Thanks to Satan. Is. So. Everybody, I do love you. Um, I'm going to let this go for now. Uh, sometimes I know maybe I shouldn't be on here. And then other got times God says that's exactly what they need to hear. So spit it out. So I refrain myself when I'm raging inside and I'm still this cool. Yeah, it's all good. Jerks. Oh, SJD. Bastard. Can't resist everybody. You know, the all seeing eye in my butt. You know what that all seeing eye sees? Nothing. Not no more. You little weak things. Take your supposed alchemy, which. Which you couldn't ever conceive the all probabilities of the chemistry you're trying to understand. Yeah, take it from me. <laughs> uh, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> hey, you, get off my cloud. Later, everybody. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.